What the? The surroundings are starting to change. Wh what's going on? That looks nothing like the other dragons. Yeah, that's right. This is the very star itself. Dragon Star Varnir. I must say, I am pleased to know the next candidate for the Dragon Star has arrived. I have examined the vessel. Let us see if she has what it takes to bear the star. Are you kidding me? It's trying to fight us! In a nightmare. Well, almost. We're definitely outside of reality. This is the spirit world of Varnir. This is happening because Varnir has approved Bendika as a candidate for the next Dragon Star. Lady! What? She is going to become the Dragon Star? Didn't you say that only people who possess the desire to become the Dragon Star will be considered? Then why, Bendika? You know what you're getting into? Depending on the outcome of this battle, you could become the next Dragon Star. There's no turning back there. I have nothing else to say. I'm standing here of my own accord, ready to become the next Dragon Star. That's all there is to it. Interpret it however you wish. I see. Lady! Bendika's way of paying for her transgressions. Yeah, I think it is. There's only one thing for us to do. Right. Let's give it everything we have. We need to protect the next Dragon Star. Are you ready? If you are truly the next Dragon Star, then show me what you are made of.
Get ready. walked away. We're alive. I think we did it. Ah! What is this light? Look! Look at Bendika! Leave the rest to me. Everyone watch closely. Behold the sight of the one who will carry the star. It still hasn't hit me. The star was saved. Yeah, I feel so relieved. I never thought I'd come to understand the one behind the Carnival of Death. 
let alone fight together with her towards a common goal. Though I still don't agree with a lot of it, it's almost as if I understand her now. She was wrong to do what she did, but I can see now that she really sympathized with the other witches. Finally rid myself of this burden. Do you think Bendika can really do it? Can she be the Dragon Star? Oh, don't be silly. She endured so many excruciating years just for the sake of revenge. Her tenacity is very impressive. I don't think we need to worry about her. <laughs> Good point. Um, Charlie? My, what is it? Will the lady look over us? Like Maruda? Yes, of course. Now that the curse is lifted, I'm sure she's looking forward to seeing how you will live your lives. To be free from living a cruel existence. It's what Bendika truly wanted. Right. But after Bendika reaches the end of her life, witches will be born under the curse once again. Then the next dragon star will be born, right? What? What happens when she passes away? Don't worry. As long as there's a witch who wants to lift the curse and become the Dragon Star, it'll be okay. I hope it's that easy. We'll just have to hope for another witch like Bendika to carry the burden. I know. But remember, a new witch won't be born in your lifetime. We're the last witches, huh? At least until Bendika's time as the Dragon Star ends. Exactly. It's even more of a reason to spend time as a family. You all survived. You're gonna make the most of it, right? Yeah! Good answer. I can finally leave in peace. You're... leaving? Don't give me that look. I don't like sappy stuff. I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. But I'll always be connected to you, thanks to the star. Fate brought us together. I won't stop praying for you all to find happiness. Charlotta! Faria, my first and last apprentice. I wasn't able to teach you that much, but my spirit is with you. We will miss you very much. Yeah. How are we gonna get by without the yappy witch giving her unsolicited remarks about everything? Thank you, Charlotta. I'm glad to have met you. Can you not... I said I don't like sappy stuff. <laughs> yeah. Now your wish will come true, right? We'll pray that you can sleep in peace. Yes. Thank you all. We had some fun times together, didn't we? Well, goodbye, everyone. She's gone. She could have played with us just a few more minutes. I'm not lonely at all. I know Charlie's gonna be watching over us. Yeah, let's make her proud. We'll do our best to enjoy our lives together. When did they become so mature? They'll be the older sisters in no time. When they're ready, then I'm gonna teach them everything Charlotta taught me. <laughs> okay. Let's head home. We have a lot of food thanks to the informant. I'll make us a feast! Yay! I can't wait! Kari Karu, don't forget about dessert! <laughs> Charlotta and Bendika gave us such a gift. How do I even begin to honor them? Zephy, why is your head in the clouds? We're gonna leave you behind, you know. What? Oh, sorry. Yeah, are you all right? Snap out of it. You're in charge of battles on the way back. Kari Karo, is that necessary? Zephy's tired too. I shouldn't think so hard about it. I know these days of peace are precious. For my sake and the sake of the ones I care about, I'm going to cherish every moment. It's what they would want. And it's my responsibility to make the most of it. Come on, Zephy! Hurry up! Okay. Let's go home.
Hey, are you ready? Yes, Mooney totally is. Okay, let's go. Zephy, are you sure you don't want to come with us? It'll be an adventure. Come on, it's not an adventure, it's a picnic. Don't just go running off, okay? Hey, are you sure you don't want to come? Yeah, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Make sure to have fun out there. It's such nice weather, though. Are you sure you won't come? Yeah, not this time. Next time. Promise. Okay, I understand. Monet will bring you back a present. <laughs> I look forward to it. Watch the house, okay? See ya! Although I appreciate the gesture, I just can't go into that room with everyone else. We got a new dragon star, then Charlotta just disappeared. I know she just wanted to sleep in peace, but I can't feel happy about it for some reason. How much time passes, I bet this feeling won't go away. I know she's gone, but I can't stop looking for her. Her stuff is still here. I didn't think missing one person would make me feel so lonely. Being here gives me some stupid hope that Charlotta will just wander back home. I'm so done. I only realized how much I felt for her after she left. This was something I gave to her before. She was using it. I never thought she'd write down so many memories of her time here. The last page is bookmarked. Whoa, this is... Zephy, whenever you feel lonely, read my diary and remember me. Hopefully it makes you feel a little better. Charlotta. But anyway, why are you giving me a gift? What are you trying to pull? Moments don't last forever, do they? It doesn't matter if you're a human or a witch. If you start writing them down, you can always read them when you feel lonely. You can remember the happier times. You can remember those closest to you. The memories you had with them. Really nice. Thanks for being so considerate. Should I use this bookmark on the page with my favorite memory? No. That's something to remind you that you used to live in the den, Charlotta. Huh? The flower is like this because of the den's magic. Although the world may be vast, this is the only flower in it that blooms here. The hope was that even if you left the den, Every time you saw this bookmark, you'd remember all of us. <sighs> Maybe this is stupid, but I just thought of how hard it might be for you to be here alone after me and all the others pass away. If I was in your position, I would miss everyone so much. I figured I just want to remember the good times I had with everyone. I see. You're such a dummy. I make one dumb joke and you go and do all of this. I got this diary for Charlotta. How strange for me to be the one using it now. Whenever you get lonely. <laughs> I guess you don't live to be a few hundred years old without knowing a thing or two about loneliness. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? You could give me a little more respect, you know. What? Hi. Long time no see. What are you doing here? I thought you were sleeping. Yeah, I could have stayed asleep, but I remembered something I was supposed to do. I kept thinking about it, and Bendika, I mean, the Dragon Star, allowed me to wake up. Oh, well, whatever the reason is, I'm just glad I was able to see you again. <laughs> it was worth the trouble if you're really this happy about it. So, what did you forget to do? 
I'd love to help you out. Really? That'd be great, because it kind of has to do with you. What do you mean? I forgot to tell you that I love you. What? Is this real? Not only did Charlotta come back, but she told me she loves me? So? I wake up from my cozy sleep, come all the way out to the forest to see you to confess my love, and you have nothing to say? No, uh, um... I... I feel the same. After you left, I just missed you so much that it ached. All I wanted was to see you again. I love you. <laughs> well done, Zephy. <sighs> she just... My lips. Are you really gonna clam up now? Come on. Oh well, it's what makes you... you. I guess I'll have to lead. I am your senior, after all. S sorry it's okay. I think I prefer it that way. Oh, man. What am I gonna do with you? Everyone will be so happy to find out that you're back. Oh, yeah. Where are they? They're out on a picnic. Oh, why don't we go on one, too? Maybe we can go surprise them. That sounds great. Okay, let's get ready. Hold on. Before that... I need to write about this special day. It's not every day you're resurrected and confess your feelings to the one you love. <laughs> All right. Knowing that you're gonna write about this gives me butterflies. You'll just have to get used to that. I plan on writing out every happy memory we make together. <laughs> that sounds perfectly fine by me. I'm never gonna let her go. We have our whole lives ahead of us. Our future? is going to be happier.